Welcome back to Peppa's Adventures in Time, or in this case, Locked Jaws Adventures in Time. We are uh, back here. And yeah, I figured out that that thing that made the game crash, I don't really have to do that, so thank God for that. So let's hope that the game doesn't crash. Um, anyway, I mean, if the game still crashes, that would be terrible. But yeah, there's not that much we have to do uh, to get back to the point where we were before. So that's good. I just heard a weird noise. Don't know what it was. Okay, already read that. And uh, I'm gonna skip most of the dialogue. Uh, because that was in last episode. So let's chew up these slippers and hide under the table. And hopefully this works and it, the game doesn't crash. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? And he's throwing away around coins. Yeah, we get it, dude. You're rich. Good day, sir. Oh, wait. I'm gonna skip this. Because we already heard this. Or oh, read this. Well, you heard me read this. And he's writing a letter, which I need to get. And he puts, yeah, put up this picture of, I think that's him and his daughter. His obnoxious daughter. So what we need to do now is do this instead. Bah, it's that horrible beast. How do you get out here? Get out! Get out of here, shoo! Oh no! <laughs> Look at him. Choke, ah, gas, wheeze, ah, Percy, I've been poisoned. <laughs> Curse that blasted, bli blighted flea bag of a manchy hound. Percy! So let's get the letter. No, we don't want to chew up the letter. How do you take the letter? Let's take the letter? Well, that's my inventory. Oh, this is, is this? I guess it is. Lockjaw takes the letter. And I'll bet we have to use that uh, carrier pigeon. Lockjaw decides to get the heck out of here. Okay, yeah. Oh, yep. And uh, I bet we have to use that. I thought he meant to. I don't know. Oh, look, there it is. Yeah, I was right. So let's take the letter. The letter? The letter. Oh, here it is. Take the letter with the password and give it to the pigeon. Here you go. Lockjaw is a very clever dog. Lockjaw gets an idea. He gives the letter to the pigeon. And, fl and the pigeon flies back to Pepper. Look at it go. Fly high, little bird. Fly proud. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, this is a <laughs> unnecessary animation. Oh! And it rings the bell. Oh, that's awesome. Let's take the letter. What do you have there, little feathery guy? A letter. It's. Let's just see what this is. To General Hugh Puck the second, acting governor of Philadelphia from the King of England? Oh, wow, he's talking about the Stamp Act. What? Oh jeez, I can't believe this. The Stamp Act hasn't been passed yet. That means General Puck is a thief. Does that really surprise you? What does this word bluey mean anyway? Well, General Puck's Korea has got, has, is about to go bluey. Wait until Ben sees this. So we got the letter and the, the password, although she wouldn't know that that's the password, but I do. So that's kind of cheating. Let's go back downstairs. 
And, uh, well, we can place the lever, which we got. Uh, lever, lever, lever. We got the ba oh the battery. Oh, that's cool. All charged by lightning. Let's place this. Peppa doesn't want to mess with Ben's stuff. No. Well, I do. Okay. Let's go find Ben. Maybe he's in the living room. Yes, he is. Sally, are you sure your mother didn't say where she was going? No, Papa. She's been so strange lately. She goes out all day long, and when she comes home, comes home so tired, she keeps talking about setting the town straight. I think she's having an affair, or maybe she's a prostitute. Probably not. This is a children's game. That bullheaded woman. What does she think she can do on her own? Get yourself, get herself in trouble. That's what. Oh, this is all my fault. This would not have happened uh, had I not been acting so foolishly. Hush, Papa. You are ill and nothing more. Everything will be fine. Just as soon as Mama comes home. Mama, I guess they'll pronounce it. I hope you're right, daughter. I hope it with all my heart. Okay, can I do something again soon? Oh, thanks. <laughs> and let's give... Mr. Franklin, the pebbles, no, the, oh, let's give Mr. Franklin the letter. Here you go, sir. Ben, that General Park is a real stinker. You wouldn't believe what he's been up to. I got this letter and, lad, there'll be a time for the General later, and I intend to do something about him, but right now, Deborah's safety is my only concern. Okay, so I guess we'll have to go find her? Or something? Probably. So let's, um, let's get out. No, let's talk to him. Let's talk to Mr. Franklin. Ben. Mr. Franklin, do you think you could help me with my dog now? He just said, ugh. Lad, I'll be glad to help you with your dog, but... It must wait until Deborah gets home. I can do nothing until I know my beloved Debbie is safe. Let's talk to her. Maybe she is. Forgive me, lad, but I am so distracted I keep pricking my fingers <laughs> with my needle. I'm afraid I'm not much of a conversation right now. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Weirdos. Well, they're not actually weirdos anymore. Well, she is a bit. <laughs> so let's go find Deborah Franklin. Wonder where she is. And this is a very unnecessary <laughs> area right now, because I don't think anything will ever happen here again. So, I don't know, they should have skipped this. I, I don't know. Uh, hmm. Setting the town straight. <laughs> let's uh, let's try go to the baker's first. She's been very kind. Mrs. Gumdrops. It's been a while since we've been at her place. These two don't. I don't think they have anything interesting to say. They're too much into each other after they stopped arguing. Uh. Yule sprouts and rice. Let's talk to her. Let's get the microphone. Uh, hi, Goody. How are you? Oh, I've been better. It is, if it weren't for this wretched heat and all these nasty flies, how are you, lad? Oh, okay, I suppose. I'm just really worried about my dog. I understand, lad. It is hard to lose something you care for so much. Well, actually, I don't intend to lose him, Goody. I'll get him back somehow. Well, I'll help you in any way I c can, child. 
Does does she actually have new questions? Let's see. Oh, goody, Ben Franklin seems to be f feeling better. If only I could convince the colonists to stand up against the pucks. My, you've got a great sense of responsibility for such a young lad. That's wonderful. If Ben is feeling better, brain fever is terrifying thing. Brain fever, huh? Fred fever is more like it. What? Fred fever? What is the world is that, child? Well, it's caused by cold, slimy things who live in the attic. What? What is she talking about? Is this a reference to something I don't know anything about? Oh dear. You know, I don't think she actually has anything new of value to be talking about. So I'm gonna leave. There we go. We need to find Deborah. Hmm. Well, I don't think she's in any of these shops since I cannot go into any of those. Hmm. Let's try going up here. Maybe she's in the post office. Probably not. There's that guy, the hustler, who is not a hustler anymore, although he still looks like a hustler. Sitting there on the bench, flipping his coin. I'm not saying that all the people who do that are hustlers, but, you know. I don't think they have anything new to say. Maybe I can use that password. Bluey, hooey, whatever the hell it was, I can't remember. Let's go talk to the goths. Maybe the pa I can use the password with them. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's probably where they're keeping uh, poor what's his name? P poor Richard. So let's uh, talk to this guy. The fat guy. Ollie. Excuse me, sirs, but... Oh, oh I pressed once again. I really hate that. Who exactly is in this shed, sirs? What are you trying to hide? I should stop pressing the button. Any buttons here? That's for us to know and you to wonder about. Nah, 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 nah. What? Oh, act your age moment. Mo month men, rent. What? Sorry, Cecil, the boy will come along now. Scat. These people are weird. So, little beggar, before I... Shoot, little beggar, before I arrest you too. Can I use this letter on them? Oh, I can. Stand aside. General Puck has sent me to question the prisoner. I'm not pressing anything. Oh, sure he has. Sure he did, lad. And I'm the General's daughter. That's an okay movie, actually. The General's daughter. Right, the General's daughter. You're, you're at least as pretty as she is, Cecil. <laughs> oh, don't let the General hear that. Stand aside, I say. Do you dare laugh at the King's own questioner? The King's own questioner, is it? I think the lad is plumb balmy. That's what. Crazy as alone he is. I'm not gonna laugh. Right. He'll be telling us he's the king himself before long. And they're laughing at me. You fools. I know the password. It's Bluey. And... Oh. Sir. Uh, yes, sir. Royal question, sir. Go right in, sir. <laughs> right, go right in, your royal question. <laughs> royal question hood, sir. <laughs> That's more like it. Maybe I won't have you beheaded after all. Snicker. <laughs> your royal question hood. Oh, well, that was awesome. Ooh, it's a uh, poor motherfucker. Richard. But I think I'll end the episode here. 
Next time, we will talk... No, 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 no. This episode is not long enough. I'm gonna talk to poor Richard. Hey, yo. I've come to get you out of here, she says while watching the wall. Get me out of here? Hmm. And how do you propose to do that? Those guards may be idiots, but they're not fool enough to let me out. There's a hole over here. We can go out through. I'm going to run in here, and I hope the man responsible that pig-headed Ben Franklin runs somewhere else for all eternity. I bet that the... This is... Oh, wait a minute. But Ben's better now. He did his kite experiment. This is his wife, probably, dressed as poor Richard. Bah! I believe it when I see it. He's lost his mind, boy. And he's taking the whole of the British colonies with him. I bet this is his wife. Because be poor Richard was a fictional character. My mother always warned me about him. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, this is his wife. But did I believe her? Oh no, of course not. Bah! Lazy good for nothing. Yeah, it is. Sitting around in the hot tub all day. Never thought about what he was doing to fair Philadelphia. Never thought about what he was doing to me. Yeah, that's his wife in disguise. That's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, um, uh, cool. Now I'm gonna end the episode. So I'll see you next time for more Pebbles Adventures in Time. Bye.